So Sam, plenty of grass out there. Been a good season? Yeah, it has been a, has been a good season, Joe. It's um, been a horrendously wet season, of course, with uh, Cyclone Gabrielle in the, in the middle in February there, but yeah. it's been consistent throughout yeah. December and January. So It's not until you get up here that you actually see the level that the water had risen to over the road. It was uh, it's quite quite something. Yeah, we sort of um, yeah we we weren't as affected as badly as some of the others, but um, yeah, we certainly got our fair share of water, and it's yeah left yeah. its left its toll. So it'll be a little bit of clean up to do still. So yeah, that's right. And we couldn't go down to the cattle yards because the cattle yards. Yeah, no, too much silt down there to do some filming. So yeah. we've had to yeah. had to bring them home. Wait till we got them home, and then yeah, do the filming now. So. Yep. Great, but they're looking good. They're looking good the way that we're doing it now. They're walking uphill and yeah, yeah. No, it's um yeah. I think it's working well. So and they're a nice, quiet line of cattle too. So I'm pretty pretty pleased with them that way. Mm. No, mm. no, no monkeys amongst them. So no, that's good. <laughs> no, that's right. And what about the size? What size are you using this year? Uh, so we've got um, this would be sort of the last crop of the car our sixteen bulls. Who so he's sort of been a real stalwart for us mm. and left a really nice type. Mm. Um, and then there's a Rangatira L35, there's a few there um, amongst them. He's a good, sort of beautiful, muscling bull, So and he's left it through, come through his progeny as well. Yeah. And then the new sire we've got there, which is 18592, which is a Rangatira bull. He's by Mount Mabel Thor, so this is the first crop of bulls um, mm. by him. So And he's left some lovely females as well. And yeah. then we've, uh, there's a few... Bulls here out of some of the yearling heifers, which we used our own, one of our own, Elgin Triple Two, right. and they've left a real good uh, sort of heifer, heifer type bull. So yeah, I right. think they'll be good going forward. So in terms of the uh, maternal side, what are you like in the in the cows? Yeah, the cows. You sort of want a self-sufficient cow that can get around the hills hmm. and be a really functional cow. Clean up when she's clean up all the countryside when and needs cleaning up yeah but then also can come back get back in calf again yep. every year and try and try and wean a decent calf and yeah. that's the yeah. yeah no the cows are pretty pretty important part and i know you you're selecting your bulls but half of the genetics come from the cow as that's well right. so yep. it's phenotype is yep. sort of number one for me yep. i think you've got to have the animal in front of you for a start mm. and then you can use numbers to, to your discretion really um yeah. Yeah, or always trying to improve them, but mm. being very careful in how how I use them. So 2021, you guys paid in partnership 106,000 for a bull. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Joe. So, no, the Car uh, Olympic 327. That's um, yeah, he's um, bred very well for us. So he's left a real real stamp on them. Got some lovely females and some outstanding young young bulls there too mm -hmm. and so quite excited about that progeny coming through next year i think he'd be a real impact so i so watch the space exactly yeah well we're looking forward to that yeah no so the sale this year yes so we're using the bit of platform that mm. that works well for those guys that can't can't make the sale and yep. or just want to have a look and see what's going on mm -hmm. and then yeah on farm auction so that's yeah to a road yep. um, on tuesday 13th of june at 3 30 so yep. No, more than, yeah, I'd love to see anyone that would like to come and have a look. And, and so we've got, we got the helper Mick back again. Yeah, no, so, yep, he's number one head shepherd, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's back back there. He turns up most days, so, yeah. he's, no, he's pretty, yeah, pretty handy, pretty, pretty handy around the yeah. place, really. And your partner, Sarah, she plays a very important role as well. Yeah, no, well, she does. She work, works in town full time, so yeah. that keeps her busy, but I think she's always... Here on the weekends, helping me out around the place, and then spends a lot of time in the evenings doing a fair bit of paperwork with me, and yeah, yeah or doing it for me. <laughs> so, but no, she's yeah, sort of, and sale day, she's she's probably got a bigger job than I have really. Yeah. So the whole the whole sale days are really a family affair. Yes. Yep. Yep. Mum, dad, um, sisters, Sarah, and yeah, a lot of friends and helpers. You can't run a sale without those guys. Yeah. So. Oh well. Uh, all the best for the sale, and if we can make it down, we'll definitely make it down for yeah, the sale. No. Thank you, Joe. Awesome. Cheers.